project came at the right time where Nigeria needed help. Everybody knows what is happening to our oil. And now we want to face agriculture. So we don't even know where who to point the finger to. Is it the agronomist dealing with cassava or the breeders dealing with cassava? Nigeria happened to be the highest producer of cassava. But we are hiding under it. It's because of the land hectare that is being cultivated under cassava. That was what made us to be on the highest level. But when you see the tonnage, the yield is very low. How can in India, and they're having 30 tons per hectare, and we, we are still struggling between 10 to 15 tons per hectare. So who is at first? Is it the breeders or the agronomist? So which way forward? That is going to be one of the challenge I want this project to look into. Because number one, we know how much now we are spending on importation of wheat. So the federal government now want to put a stop to reduce wheat importation and then to add cassava flour. So you will see that our focus are more on cassava now. How we can include it into wheat flour to make bread. And then, it thereby putting at the back of our mind how to increase the income of the farmers and then to generate employment for our youth. Because when you know there is money here, people will go there. And then, in short, Nigeria too will benefit. We will reduce our importation. Our focus more are now on the cassava flour. Because if you know how much we are spending to import wheat, it's about 635 billion naira annually. So by including um, cassava flowers between 10 to 20 percent, we can save about 127 billion naira. So you will now see that breeders, agronomists, especially the agronomy people, is it we have good breeding cassava cuttings? And is the agronomy practice that is wrong, that is not yet put in place. That is why our farmers are not getting this idea. Because you can just compare it, 30 tons in India with our own. And when I say 10 to 15 tons, it is people that even have enough money to do that that can even get that. So what is not in place? Please, we want you to look into that two areas. Because now we want intensified drive on high quality cassava flour production for import substitution on wheat. More, I'm emphasizing that again. And then those that are recommending the fertilizer that are going to work on the fertilizer, if it's notorious that it's going to supply, should make sure it is going to be available to the farmers. Because we are just boasting of we are the highest producer of cassava. Number one, the production is low. Number two, um, we don't even have out, uh, added value of cassava so that we can even export. We don't have it. So these two sensitive areas, I would like this project to look into it. Nigeria is the largest producer of cassava with about 40 million metric tons per annum, but little has been achieved in the area of value addition before the present administration of President Goodluck Jonathan. At the same time, Nigeria is the highest importer of wheat flour in the world, with an import bill of over, just like I said, 635 billion naira on wheat imports, which only grows the economy of the exporting country at the expense of our own nation. For instance, massive wheat imports means massive loss of jobs in the local agricultural sector. 
that can produce alternatives. It has been proved any doubt that wheat flour can be partially subs substituted with high quality cassava flour to the level of 20%, thereby saving the nation about 127 billion, which can be redirected to development of agriculture. The government launched a cassava transformation agenda in 2012 with import substitution, particularly to replace up to 40% of the imported wheat with high quality cassava flour for use in bread and confectionery, pasta, and so on. Though research and collaboration, 40% substitution of cassava flour for wheat flour in bread was achieved in October 2011 in partnership with the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture and the Federal Institute of Industrial Research, OCD, and presented to Mr. President in 2011. This feat led to the establishment of Cassava Bread Initiative with well-articulated work working documents developed by the experts in the ministry. The areas covered by the document are development of robust cassava root production, support to high quality cassava flour processing, small, medium enterprises, and medium scale cassava flour mills. You know, if there is cassava like that, good quality ones, that, and there is high yield, you know, Government who are trying to substitute with um, cassava um, processing equipment for small scale um, cassava growers so that's to hate them and all that. So you will know how important what you people are seated together to do here. So I'm saying, you will see I've been disturbing you people with my phone because I'm interested in this thing in this workshop, especially on the agronomic aspects. So that when we sit in national, we'll be able to point exactly where the problem is coming from. Is it the agronomic aspect or is it the breeding aspect? Which one? So they have to meet and balance it out. Thank you very much.